RSA TNT. Y'all already know what it is. Uh. Yeah. Do you get my back? Are you out of that? Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, the Seaster. So, I know it's been a long time, guys, since I have made a video. It's been like almost a month, and I do apologize for my few subscribers or, um, you know, however many people has been keeping up with my videos. Uh, I just didn't know if I wanted to continue with YouTube. Like, I was... <sighs> I don't know guys like I was just kind of all over the place and didn't know if I wanted to continue on but um, I have decided to push forward as you can see so today guys we're gonna have a get ready with me video and so we are going to start off with um, hair and so all that is going to consist of is me putting on um, a wig guys so I have um, one of my, what I'm wearing today is a curly unit. It's one of my own personal units. And she has been uh, freshly shampooed and conditioned. And um, I just want to let y'all know that I have, um, I make wigs. And I, of course, I make my own um, personal units. And, like, I I keep these units, guys. I wear them um all the time like I'm a wig wearer so I wear a wig basically every day and so I don't like just get wigs and throw them away or whatever you know my human hair wigs I pay good money for the hair and I keep them you know and I wear them I keep them shampooed I keep them conditioned and um so I wear them so this is uh curly unit of mine this is a 20 inch and this is one of my faves and so this is what i'm going to be wearing today like i said i just shampooed and conditioned this so i'm just going to uh let you guys see my application and so i don't uh, normally glue my wigs down what i have been doing lately is putting a little bit of uh got to be glue across my forehead and just kind of letting and sticking this part down here down and so that makes it a lot more secure and i can still take it off at night which is what i like to do so that's what we're going to do today we're going to i'm going to put a little bit of got to be glue and we just i just put that right across my front hairline right here and this is the only part that, you know, I want to stick down. And as you can see, I already have on my wig cap. And so I use my handy dandy rip wig grip, guys. And you can find these on Amazon. And um, I love this thing. I don't know about um, anybody else, but I love it because it works. And because I don't, you know, I'm not want to wear my wigs glued down it just you know it does the job for me so to each his own and so in this i recently sewed a strap into this unit so we are going to slip this on and so i'm going to put this band while i'm still talking to y'all while i'm putting my wig on i want y'all to see everything so I put that on, make sure that's secure in the back. Now, and so now I'm just going to pull this, my band is trying to slip off guys, so. I'm just going to bring it down all around my edges to make sure that everything is down and secure good and guys let me I'm going to put just a touch more of 
They got to be glue up there so I can get a little bit more. Because uh, it kind of got wiped off a little bit. So I'm going to bring that lace down and I'm going to just lay it down there. And so I don't know what kind of um, part or whatever that I had, how I did this when I shampooed it, but she is on. I love this, guys. I, this is one of my favorite units, so I'm just going to spray. And this is just a, a wig shine spray. And I just use this for a little sheen. That's it. As you can see, I have my own edges out, and so that blends in there. And so because we are doing a makeup video, I'm going to pin it up. So guys, as you can see around here, on this particular wig, you can see, like this is, guys, this is one of my older units. Like I've I've had this unit for about a year. And I, like I said, I wash it, I condition it, I treat it just like my I would uh, sew in or my own hair. So I'm just going to pin that up right there. so that that's out of my way and I can do my makeup. So what I wanted to show you guys up close was the reason why I don't do the whole, like, almost bald plucking around the hairline is because I wear my wigs a lot. I wash them. And when you um, get to, when you pluck that hairline to where it has that really, really natural look that everybody likes, you know, looks like scalp, melts into your hair, well, it's because you thin that hairline out real good. So what happens is that over time, as you're shampooing and wearing your unit, that hair, when you start plucking it, you, you started disturbing the structure of that frontal. So that um, hair, it, it sheds and eventually starts coming out. So look at this. So this one was plucked really good and if you can see like right along and i'm gonna put just a little bit see i have to bring down baby hairs on this unit because of that reason right there how this lace is in the front but we're gonna do that like at the end once i get my makeup on we're not gonna worry about that right now so once i get my makeup on we will worry about that but this is like one of my favorite units and i love the way it feels when i just when it's freshly washed it feels so nice and soft and so okay guys so without further ado let's move on to a makeup so i just want to start with because I'm not, you know, even though I know my face is clean, I just want to make sure. So, guys, if you're not using these, you should be. These are the uh, Neutrogena Makeup Removers, and they are the bomb.com. They are my favorite. So, I just want to just wipe my face down. I'm a little heavy-handed, so you probably like, oh, my God, look how she's hard she's patting on her face and I know because I'm heavy handed all right so now that I have a seemingly clean face let's move on to foundation so oh no we have to prime first so I'm going to use um the NYX NYX 
it is a first base premium spray primer and um i have this is one of my go-to products right now guys so um and i will be leaving uh in the link down below guys i will be leaving a description of um all the products that i use today and oh don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss another episode of the sister in the beauty shop guys so i'm just going to i like to spray my face generously with that so i forgot to wet my beauty blender so let me go do that and i'll be right back Okay, we're back, and uh, I have my beauty blender, and at least I just had it. Okay, here it is. So, I went and got my both of my beauty blenders that I use. I went and got those wet, and of course, now we are going in with foundation. So, uh, I am using the Rimmel uh, Match, the Perfect Match, and this is in color... What is this? Cop this is a copper honey and it's in color 302. So I'm going for a kind of a, a more of a light um uh, look today. Like I don't want heavy makeup today at all. So we're gonna try and keep it light today. So I have a lot of products to review for you guys but i don't want to do them all at once because i am a smaller channel and therefore um i haven't gotten to the point of uh sponsorship and all that yet and so um you know everything that um i do is you know i bought it you know nobody's sending it to me to review on my channel um i bought it i love makeup so i'm always buying makeup so it's not like that's a big deal but so like i said i can there's a several colors that i can use and make work on my face so like, I have pretty good skin, not to be bragging or nothing, but I have pretty good skin, so. My complexion. Okay, so next, now that we have our, next we're going to do, um, we're going to do our primer. Now, normally, okay, I'm looking for it right now. So normally I use the the Tarte Shape Tape, of course, the, the hella popular, ever so popular sharp tape place. But I sharp shape tape. But I find that to be um, like a little heavy. I mean I love it, but to me it's a little heavy. So I'm going for a lighter look today. So I'm going to be I'm going to use the Infallible um, highlighter, and it is. I mean concealer in O2 and I don't know what that color is so we're just going to go and highlight in the spots that we highlight guys you know the normal spots the normal spots I'm gonna hit those up and then we're going to just blend those in with our beauty blender now we're going to set that and uh, I am um, out of my um, satin powder that I use all the time so we're gonna be using this and this is just a drugstore and this is the air spun loose face powder and this is from walgreens guys it's not like i use a mixture of products i use drugstore products and i also use high-end products like it's all about what the product does not how much it costs or what store it came from or none of that for me anyway that's what it is for me 
so that's what works and of course we want to set in the primer that we put on our eyelids set it in get it ready for our eyeshadow and everywhere that I highlight it guys I just kind of like to set that in with a little setting powder okay so guess what's next eyebrows which you know that I cannot do on camera so I'm gonna go do my eyebrows and I will be right back go grab you a drink don't go nowhere because I have a beautiful look for you guys today. okay guys we're back didn't take me that long to do eyebrows like I thought it would thank you Jesus because that is um, like that and eyelashes take the longest for me so moving right along so we have our eyebrows done I've already done the outline and everything and we're ready to move on to eyeshadow and today guys we are going to be doing eyeshadow out of the James palette um, the James Charles palette oh my god I can't even talk today so here we have the original James Charles palette and it just it is so colorful y'all I love it so we are going to I'm going to be doing some um, oranges I guess I think yeah I think so so and I'm using um Sephora makeup brushes guys I don't know what um, the numbers uh, are so um, don't ask because I don't know I don't have the Morphe brushes anyone who would like to buy some for me I would be more than happy to uh, accept them <laughs> or any sponsor who wants to send me them I would be more than happy to accept them so nothing on this channel is sponsored so everything I do is just straight legitimate just me doing what I love to do basically okay so I'm gonna start with this light a light color it's like a light color orange and I'm my uh, thing is to keep it right on the outer skirts of the eye guys for this look today we are going to be keeping everything pretty much on this outside corner of the eye. So I'm just blending that in, emphasizing most of my shadow on the outside corner of the eye. So now on that inner inside, we are going to do a shimmer gold a gold shimmer and i am going to wet my brush and i'm going to dip it into this gold and i'm going to apply that gold all on this inside my lid and that inside corner bringing it down even to my tear duct bottom lashes because then I have to do lashes which I have to do off camera so let's go ahead and oh and this is my favorite mascara guys I'm sorry it is the Kush mascara from Sephora and it is the best I love it well I think it's the best so maybe you don't but I do I love it it really elongates my nail my uh, lashes then I just put a thin coat up here on my top lashes 
so that they know they're about to get something on them. How about that? Now let's do the other side. I'm loving this eyeshadow look. Loving it to death. Wait till we get it all complete. Okay, guys, I'm going to put my lashes on, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, our lashes are on, and listen, that took me, like, I swear that took me, like, 25 minutes to get those on. I am not good at lashes yet. I just start wearing them probably about um, a couple months ago, so um, I'm still not that great at putting them on. You know how everybody else just pops them on? Well... That won't be me. Not right now, anyway. So, moving like right along. Now, we are going to do a little bit of contouring, guys. And to put a little color into this face. I'm looking a little pale right now. So, we are going to add a little color. So, we are going to... And this is um, Anastasia. This is my Anastasia contouring um, palette. And so as y'all can see, I use the heck out of this. So I love it. A little contour on that nose. This is how I contour my nose, guys. I just... Darken it up just to make... The contour darkening up makes this part of your nose look more narrow and snatched, as James Charles would say. Props out to James Charles for the snatched vocabulary. Thank you, sister. So that's basically what that does is narrows the nose. And I like, I don't have a big nose, but you know, let's just make it do what it do. So now I'm going to do a little bit of bronzer. And guys, this is just, this is not an expensive bronzer. This is cheap drugstore. And it is Rimmel Radiant Brick Bronzer. And it is also one of my faves. So now let's cut this part out, guys. Let's give that chiseled look on our jawline so guys i have a ton of like i have a ton of products period so i have a ton of expensive products i have a ton of drugstore products so uh as i was saying before like i use um a mixture of both and to me it's not um what the product costs that makes it a good product it's what the product does that makes it a good product. So, that's how I feel about it. My MAC setting powder to do that. And uh, my Big Beauty Blender my big blending brush and I just tap a little bit onto my brush 
saying, guys? I just get busy. Blending everything so that everything looks blended. So we're going to do a, a little bit of a blush. And this is a Tarte Compact. And it has eyeshadows and blush. And I like the pink color blush in there. So just put those on the apples of our cheeks. Like so. Oh, yes. All right, guys. So now I like to spray with uh, Prep and Fix by, um, what is this by? Um, Y'all know what this is by. I done forgot. Prep and Fix. Y'all know what it is. Since I can't think of it right now. So as I spray my face getting it ready for that highlighter girl let me get out my highlighting palette i have stuff everywhere so here we go and this is a uh, in new window and this is by color pop and this is a highlighting palette and bam there we go so i'm going to use a little of this hmm probably this gold in the middle And I like to do on my nose and Cupid's bow and right up above the eyebrow for some reason. All right, guys, and for my finishing touches, I have couple more things that I do so oh my look at that highlighter guys so it's not really as bam as I would like it to be so in that instance we're gonna give the face a little bit of glittery shine with Rihanna's Riri's Yes, girl. Yes. This is the bomb.com. And this is uh the diamond. This is the diamond bomb. And guys, I love this. So this is going like I like to go across here since my chest is open. And we're gonna, you know, put a little few little sparkles there and then where my highlighter is at. And there you go. And guys, even though you can't see that a lot right now, but when you get, and when I get out into the sun, that little glitter is going to be like, pow out. Yes, Lord. So, now we must move on. Two lipstick. Oh, let me do my two beauty mo's. Beauty mo's, guys. Gotta do the beauty mo's. I'm loving this eyeshadow look. This eyeshadow look is player, y'all. So now let me find 
little I always line my lips with black liner yes I do because I just do I just like it I just do you know that's just what I do so then of course I don't leave it like that I smudge it. All around. And now, guys, we're going to use one of Kylie's new lippies. And I have, I got the whole set for Christmas. So, I am using this one. I don't know what color this is. This is, it's a color, like a color gloss. I don't know. We're getting ready to see. Okay, Kylie. So, I just feel like that highlighter, guys, is just not like ColourPop. I'm going to need you to step step your game up because this highlighter It's not popping. I guess that's as popping as I'm going to get out of them today. So, okay, guys. So, now we are done with makeup. And what am I going to do with my hair? Nothing except pull down a few little baby hairs. Because I'm going to keep it up just like this. Because it's fine. It's out of my face. And I'm going to pull down oh I'm gonna pull down some baby hairs and that's gonna be that that's gonna be the hairstyle for today so did y'all notice me put a little makeup along that um, that edge of the wig when I was doing my makeup yes I did so that that is like blended. Guys, here we are with our finished look. I hope you and guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And guys, you don't want to miss another episode of The Seaster in the Beauty Shop. Deuces. RSE TNT. Y'all already know what it is. Uh. Woo. Yeah. Yeah.